Is this the best laptop you can buy? This is a HP laptop. It's an 840 Elite Book. This is a G9 model. And I'm going to basically do a full test in this video from getting it. I bought it used on eBay. So I'm going to explain all the checks you need to do on this laptop. I'm going to check the keyboard, the webcam, the audio, how good it performs in gaming, how good it performs in exporting videos. But the first things first, I'm going to leave a little link in the description or in the comment, pin comment, just to give you a checklist of things you need to check on the laptop when you buy it used. You can see me doing that right now. Look around the laptop, make sure everything is as it's described. Find any discrepancies, any dings or dents. Make sure all the ports are working. You'll notice I found a few little marks here which weren't as prominent in the listing. I'm looking around the laptop itself to see if all the markings are there. If the warranty seals are there, we're gonna check it. Let's start by doing a few normal checks. So we can have a look at the webcam quality and some of the details. So a quick look at the HP 840 Elite Book webcam. This is in normal normal lighting, not good lighting, so just the ceiling light is on. And it looks okay. Did a bit of different angle. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad actually. Not bad. You can see here. Uh how about low light? So now we've turned the light off, the main light off. Mm -hmm. Will it adjust? Okay, so this is with a low light situation. If you're struggling with light, webcam's not bad, to be honest. It's one of the better webcams out of all the laptops I've tested. You're also hearing the microphone as well. So let me type and see if the typing affects. If I open up, will the typing experience affect uh, the mic of the laptop because it's built into the laptop itself I'm assuming it's up here or up on the top or how does the typing experience affect that so this is only a 16 gigabyte RAM it's recording at the moment in OBS so you'll see CPU usage is quite high I've got a couple of tabs open memory usage uh, quite high for Windows 11 and the GPU is 75% 84% being used next I'm going to export a 4k video so we'll see how a 4k video export is handled on this laptop so far this is the better laptop I've had this for about two weeks I'm going to upgrade the RAM and let's do an export of video and see how well that does exporting in 4k I've added an adjustment layer for some transitions and again you're watching this on the webcam of the laptop so we've got 99% GPU usage we have to do some tasks while that's going on so overall mm, it's not the best but I'm not gonna always be exporting in 4k that's a 20 minute video I'm using it as a test I won't be exporting 20 minute videos so if I go over here and do instead of power best power efficiency let's do best performance and now that should get a little bit faster so you'll see it's starting to speed up the export and we should be doing better overall so now it's actually getting more of the cpu usage whereas before it was limiting it to save battery and conserve battery so with those shorts it will do really nicely exporting literally 30 seconds that's the export so yeah you know that's some of the other client work that i've been doing so overall this laptop I'm not going to be doing hard intensive uh, video edits so it's going to be like these little 4k shorts and stuff so I find the keyboard is nice I'm used to this because I had an old G4 model that I used to use quite a lot it's got backlighting as well so you can put different lighting mode let's do a little gaming test on this so you can see here gaming performance wise depending on which mode you put it in it is possible so you can put a bit of Fortnite on there and you can game so I'll put an external mouse on there, it's on battery mode and it won't be as high frame rate but if you put it in performance mode you can get better frame rates and overall it can hack it so you can do light gaming on there if you want to. Not the best computer for gaming but overall it looks like a pleasing well built quality. Let's hear the fan noise. So we could do with some improvement, we could put some like feet on the bottom of it to raise it up a bit so better circulation if you're doing intense tasks add on some feet at the bottom of it just like this there's one i'm gonna try and put it on straight and about here right and about here i'm just using that as the measurement there which means when i flip it over now oh wow okay so you can see okay that's quite sturdy slim nature so i don't have to carry an extra thing with me and they're quite strong 
adhesive stickers if you need to reposition them they give you stickers with them number one so if you close when they close you've got a little gap so give circulation and you open it up you've got like two stages now it's a little bit taller which is quite a nice option you can see there i like it straightforward simple not expensive at all for content creators is it a good option so I think it is nice because these are going to be straight underneath the, the laptop and they're always there. So you'll see there's a nice gap, a nice circulation, it raises it up a bit so the fans can easily get air and it's a nice, better typing experience. So I found that this cheap little upgrade is about five, six dollars or something. Um, let's also check out the speakers on this laptop. So I'm playing some music. I may hear some little bit of rattling here, so I'm not sure what that's about. We have got HDMI port on here, USB, Type A, Type C. There's no um, card. Hard data, so that's a bit of a shame. But overall, the volume of it's loud is enough. I don't use the headphones anyway, uh, but you can see that Leadbook has a good overall appearance. It works well. You can use it in outdoor situations. It looks smart and professional. It's built to a better quality. The main things I like about it is it's got Bluetooth on there, so I can link in a Bluetooth headphones and a mic and do uh, Zoom calls. You can sit down comfortably. It's not too big. It's not too light, uh, heavy. So it works nicely. You can see uh, Omegle here, quick chat test for that webcam. It works nice and uh, the circulation is excellent. And yeah, I think this is the better one. This is the one I'm gonna keep out of all of them. I'm getting like eight or nine hours battery life on this laptop, so that's amazing. And if I put in battery saver, I'm getting close to 14, 15 hours. Uh, mainly a couple of Zoom meetings, some gaming, uh, lightweight video exports, 4K shorts like I showed you earlier. And overall, this is like an experience that I feel like it's smarter. I've had the 840 before. Here you can hear the typing experience and how loud the keys are. For In summary, this HP 840G10 for a budget laptop for business orientated tasks is actually very good. The laptop was actually good. The reason I liked it is number of issues that were resolved. Firstly, the laptop you can see I've got a really big light here. The glare is not too bad. It's got rich colors. The webcam was very good quality. I'm used to these cheapy 720p cameras and compared to the cheaper cameras, it's not DSLR quality, but it's good for a laptop. Zoom calls, perfectly adequate. You've got a nice laptop. It's strong. It's got good upgradability because you can put uh, upgrade the RAM, which I did do. I bought it with 16 gigabyte RAM and I put 32 gigabyte RAM in there. It's good for overall writing, editing i was able to edit 4k videos on it i'm actually editing this video on this laptop and let's check out now it's a quick look at some gameplay and on screen you'll see a next video in this series make sure to look at that list if you buy a used laptop the best things to check out